time to talk about linear velocity and linear acceleration. A linear velocity is the distance you travel divided by the time it takes to get there. You know, the units would be like units would be like miles per hour or, or feet per second or meters per second or, 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 or kilometers per hour. And, and so it's just distance over time. Velocity equals distance over time. Now acceleration is, is the rate at which you change velocity and uh, so acceleration would be the change in velocity over time. The units would be uh, meters per second squared or, or feet per second squared or, uh, or, miles, or miles per hour per second as you, as you speak. Linear velocity and acceleration. Okay, so let's try some uh, numerical examples here. So, let's see, example. Um, I got a car. And let's say it covers a, a distance of uh, 300 feet in a time of uh, 50 seconds. All right. So I want to know what's the velocity, V? Now, the units I'll typically get out will be feet per second. I got feet, seconds. Well, let's try it. I got velocity, I'll use a little v for that, is distance divided by time, which is, I go over to my knowns and unknowns. Let's see, if I, I've got d is 300 feet, t is 50 seconds. So I've got 300 feet over 50 seconds, and that's going to equal Six, six feet per second. Now I should do a, uh, we should do a conversion for that too. So we'll make it a B. Let's say A. And B, what's the velocity in miles per hour? Instead of MPH, I'm going to say miles over hour so we can keep track of what units are on top and what are on the bottom. So I'll say velocity equals standard conversion. Velocity is equal to 6 feet per second. And I multiply that by, let's see, I need uh, miles per hour instead of feet. So I need miles on top and feet on the bottom. So I'll say there's one mile for every 5,280 feet. And feet will cancel. I'll have miles per second. Now I want seconds to cancel, so I'll need seconds on top, and I want it per hour, so hours on the bottom. So I've got 3,600 seconds, 60 minutes in an hour times 60 seconds in a minute. So 3,600 seconds is the same as one hour. Now the units will tell me if I did it right or not. Seconds cancel, I'm going to have miles per hour. I've just got to calculate it. Got a couple of things here. Yeah. I think I've got a calculator. Right. Heck with that. Yeah, okay, so here it is. I've got uh, I've got six divided by five thousand two hundred and eighty times three thousand six hundred gives me uh, four point zero nine miles per hour. Now let's try let's try one more piece. Just to move the equation around. Let's say I want to go a distance of uh, oh let's say I want to go a thousand feet or twelve hundred feet. Let me say I want to go a distance twelve hundred feet and I want to how long is that going to take? Now, I need a new working equation. Velocity is distance over time, but that's not my working equation because I need to solve for time. I need to get it on top and by itself. 
So I'll multiply both sides by time. It'll cancel here. And I'll get time times velocity is distance. So now I've got time on top, but I've got to get it by itself. So what I do is I'll divide both sides by the velocity. As long as I do the same thing to both sides, the equal sign is still valid. So I'll divide both sides by velocity, I cancel, and I get this equation. Time is distance over velocity. Now I've got one more chance to check and make sure it's right. The unit should come out to be units of time. So I'll put in the distance. I've got 1,200 feet. And I'll put in my velocity, and I'll use the 6 feet per second up here that we got before. Now, the feet are going to cancel. They're both on top. 1 over 1 over seconds, that's going to turn into seconds. If you multiply the top and the bottom by seconds, you'll see they'll cancel here, and I'll have seconds on top. And so I'm going to wind up with 200 seconds. It's going to take me about three and a third minutes to travel 1,200 feet at that speed. Now, what about an acceleration? Let's try that. That was C. So let's try a D. Let's say I'm going to accelerate. I'm moving at six feet per second, but I'm going to accelerate to, to 10 feet per second. So I'm going to have a new velocity, I'll call it V2, of 10 feet per second. And it's going to take me mm, 12 seconds to do that, to speed up to that new, to go from 6 feet per second to 10 feet per second. Take me 12 seconds to do that. And I want to know, what's the acceleration? Well, acceleration is the change in velocity. I use that delta to mean change in, divided by time. Now, I can calculate the change in velocity I need to see a working equation, or I can put it right in here. I can say that's equal to v2 minus v1 over t. I'll write up here just to remind us that the original velocity, v, v1, that's 6 feet per second. So now I've just got to plug in what i got. I accelerated. It's going to be positive. It's going to be 10 feet per second minus 6 feet per second divided by 12 seconds. So that's 10 minus 6 equals 4. 4 divided by, divided by 12 would be a third, or 0.333. And I get an answer of 0 0.333. That's feet per second per second. These seconds here, I could even write it out, just an extra step. I could say that's 10 minus 6 feet per second. I could factor out those units divided by 12 seconds. These won't cancel. What I'll have is, if I multiply the top by 1 over seconds and the bottom by 1 over seconds, as long as I do it to both sides, it's okay. Well, they're going to cancel here, and I'll wind up with feet per second squared. So the units work out. Feet per second divided by seconds is feet per second squared. Try that. Make sure you get that.